Uh, I'm here this morning with uh, Mr. Dean MP, owner of uh, DCCI Corporation, Incorporated. Enterprises, yeah. Enterprise. Uh, owns a tri owns a tri B hardware and supply on Charles Street, uh, Rockford, Illinois. So, Dean, just tell me about yourself. Where you're from? Uh, where you grew up originally? Your background and all that stuff. I'm from uh, Chicago area. Okay. Moved out here about 22 years ago for a job in the automation industry. Okay. He used to run an automation company. Okay. Uh, spent 30 years in automation and got tired of the corporate BS, so decided to do something I wanted to have some fun with. Okay. And it seems like you're having fun. Uh, how, how long has Tribe Hardware been around? 12 years. 12 years. Yeah. Been here, I've, I've owned it for 12 years. It's been here about uh, 15 years. 15 or 16 years. And, oh, that's nice. And uh, from just being around, I, I, I can see that there's a lot of young people that work here periodically. Yes, yes, we bring in a lot of young people into the store uh, in the area to uh, help bring them along, teach them stuff. Young guys like working here, young gals like working here because uh, they learn stuff. That's kind of cool. So, uh, would you say that uh, Trivi is a uh, uh, what, what's, the, what's the term? It's like a, a stepping block for a lot of young kids in the area. Well, it's an alternative to some of the other fast food jobs out there and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. there's a wide variety of things that, that people can learn here. Like, like what? Fixing screens, windows, how to deal with customers, different products, tools, mm -hmm. how products are used, all kinds of different things, you know. Okay. We teach them about a little bit more than just more than just a job. It's our responsibility to help bring these kids along and uh, teach them different things. Yeah, that's, that's not just a job. Yeah, that's really good because instead of, instead of being just a job, they actually learn stuff that they could use. Correct. Nice. Yeah, a little bit tough sometimes on them because we're, uh, we're we're Marines. I'm a Marine. Uh, uh, I get out in 76, I'm a Vietnam era Marine, and uh, nice. we teach a little discipline too. So, you know, military background, oh, how does that have an effect on being an entrepreneur? And have you always wanted to be an, an entrepreneur? Of course, everybody wants to work for themselves at one point in life, I would think. Okay. And how has it uh, been, like, what would you say to someone that wants to be an entrepreneur, wants to work for themselves, but they're uh, held back. What, what, what advice could you give well, them? Just don't be afraid to take a chance. Okay. okay. You know, good things in life only come from hard work. You know. That's true. That's so right. unless you're afraid, uh, unless you're afraid of hard work, uh, why not try it? Right. How would you say being a marine gave you that discipline? Yeah, it had something to do with it. A lot of it's you know self fortitude too. You got to want to do it. So why Rockford? Like of all, of all the, the company places. I the company I, I recruited me was from Rockford, so we moved out here. Okay. And how has it? Uh, you said you've been here for like twenty something years. Twenty minutes, yeah. Yeah. How has it changed over that period? Well, it's gone through a lot of changes. You know, it used to be uh, uh, down downtown was kind of depressed and uh, continued to do so for a while, but. I see a lot of companies expanding, Woodward Governor and some of the other companies in the area um, expanding in the area. I see a lot of things going on down in Rockford. Uh, since I, I'm down there all the time with, with business, uh, and I see a lot of effort you know, being made to bring Rockford, Rockford along.